so hello students welcome to the next session of the pharmacology lecture discussion series and in succession to the topics what i have been taking in pharmacology mnemonics so here i am today with another video where i'll be discussing about tetracycline the uses and adverse effects in the form of mnemonics so it has been uh, found that it has become it has become very difficult to remember and pen down in sequence about the uses and the adverse effects what are seen due to tetracyclines so here i am with the mnemonics so students beginning with the tetracyclines the uses of tetracyclines can be better remembered if we just remember the mnemonic that is r b c in plasma where every alphabet of the r b c in plasma is going to correspond to one of the uses of adverse effects one one um, to one of the uses of the tetracyclines hello hello pushpinder so uh, the mnemonic is r b c in plasma the users can be better remembered and penned down in sequence if we just remember the initials that is r b c in plasma so students beginning with the r refers to the rickettsial infections the b of the r b c is referring to the brucellosis the c refers to cholera the in of in is referring to the inguinal conditions so inguinal infections or inguinal uh, disorders this uh, tetracyclines can be used the p of the plasma is referring to the peptic ulcers so the tetracyclines find their usage in the treatment of peptic ulcer as well the l is referring to leprosy the a refers to the atypical pneumonia particularly it is the atypical pneumonia which can be treated by the use of tetracyclines moving on to the s that is the in the treatment of siadh so in the anti diuretic hormone in the syndrome of insufficient anti diuretic hormone so this tetracyclines find their usage moving on to the m of the plasma that is it is used the tetracyclines find their usage in the treatment of malaria and moving on to the last a of the plasma it is referring to the infections what are caused by in, in the infections of amebiasis okay for the first year bds uh, sir can you make a video for mds preparation from first year of bds okay sure so uh, the mnemonic is the for the users of tetracyclines it is the rbcs in plasma moving on to the adverse effects so the adverse effects what are seen due to tetracyclines can be better remembered if we just remember the mnemonic that is kapil dev so kapil dev has been a very famous indian cricketer who has brought world cup who has brought world cup during his times so kapil dev just by remembering the every initial every alphabet of the kapil and dev we can very easily pen down in sequence the entire adverse effects what are seen during the tetracycline uh, by the tetracycline drugs so students beginning with the k of the kapil dev is leading to the kidney failure so the tetracyclines one of the adverse effects what can be seen due to the tetracyclines it is of the kidney failure moving on to the a of the couple it is referring to the anti anabolic effects okay so the a is referring to the anti anabolic effects moving on to the p of the couple dave the another adverse effects what are seen most commonly by tetracycline administration it is the photosensitivity the i refers to the diabetes insipidus and the l refers to the liver toxicity so students this was for the couple whereas the dev the cup the dev of the couple uh, couple dev so d is referring to the dentition and bone defects so another adverse effects what can be seen due to tetracyclines it is the tetracycline uh staining tetracycline staining is most commonly seen if that is administered during the uh, young and fancy period where the tooth germ is in the alveolar socket and if tetracycline is given to such patients such children they develop tetracycline stains so the d is referring to the dentition and the bone defects since the tetracyclines it gets incorporated into the bony tissues as well so d refers to the dentition 
as well as the bone defects. Moving on to the E of the Dave, it is referring to the expired drugs can cause Fanconi's syndrome. So students, the expired tetracyclines, if they are accidentally administered, they can even cause a syndrome, what is called as the Fanconi's syndrome. And the last alphabet that is the V of the Dave is referring to the vestibular toxicity. So students, just by remembering the cup initial letters of the initials of the word Kapil Dev, we can very easily pen down the adverse effects what are seen due to tetracyclines. Whereas just by remembering the statement that is the RBC in plasma, this phrase can help us to remember and recollect very easily about the entire list of the uses of the tetracyclines. So students, this was a short discussion about the mnemonics, particularly for the uses and the adverse effects of the tetracycline. So students who are visiting my channel for the first time, and if they haven't subscribed yet, please go do and subscribe the channel. And if you haven't pressed the bell icon and you want to, if you have want the updates of my upcoming videos, go, don't forget to press the bell icon. So students, this was a short discussion about the mnemonics for the uses and the adverse effects of tetracyclines. And uh, the students, um, if you uh, like this video, do share it amongst your friends. Thank you for watching.